Okay, so this is for Laura Gorski or anybody else who is interested in knowing what the Erin Condren planner looks like. This is the teacher planner, so it's not like her normal planner, but this is specifically for teachers. So you can design the cover however you want. She has multiple front covers that you can use to decide, and this is obviously the one that I chose. Um, it's very, I'll zoom, get it closer, it's laminated. It's very, very that tough, hard laminate, so that's nice. So you know that anything that might get spilled on it, because Lord knows we are always carrying around coffee or something, it's not going to permeate through your entire binder and ruin things. So anyways, you can open it up and see. So there's multiple sections in it. It's pretty thick planner. So, open it up. There's a first page. It's all about me. And then any important dates throughout the year, holidays, through there. Then if you wanted to keep track of your absences for those kiddos who always seem to always be absent, then you can have a record right here for you. Then there's a couple pages for the absences. And then there's the next section is graphing. And it's so you can graph or map your classroom, how you want to organize it. Let's see. Um, next is the year plan. So, um, any important dates that you might want to have for this school year, you can mark in here. And then, oh yes, and this is Sansa, who really wants on my bed right now. And Jimmy as well. Let's see. Then we have the months of the year. So if you wanted to have like a monthly calendar, like an overall view of what you want. Maybe you have units that you want to mark down in the months. So there's one for each month through the school year. So I'm just going to skip through all of those. And as you can see, the next section is lessons. So there's this page. I don't know if you can see it. You mark the week number and then there's multiple subject areas throughout the day. It looks like seven subject areas throughout the day and then one for every day of the week and there's a page for every week of the school year so this is where you can write your specific lesson plans down as well so I'll flip through like I said multiple multiple days of those the next section is the checklist section and this is where you can write all the names of your students and then different things that you are expecting them to turn in. So there's about seven pages of those and I know that you can buy multi more pages of different things but I figured this was all I need was the basic amount. Um, the next part that they have are a little bit of stickers that you can use to help remind you of certain things, different ones, there's different pages, some blank ones. And that's basically it for all of the sections. And we're going to tour the back of the book. And it's got a folder on both sides to hold things. And then a protective sheet. And I know that you could buy more of these as well, but again, I only needed the one. Shimmy's excited. And then there it is. Stop. Then there is a plastic pouch. A plastic pouch for different things to keep. And then the last part is the calendar at the end. And then that is again that hard protective laminate. So I hope that helps.